Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369. Thank you for being here and joining me. This is going to be a love reading for you. Please keep in mind, it is a general reading. Just take the messages as they personally resonate with you. Information for private personal readings are down below each video in the description box below. Before we get started, please leave me a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed, if you would like to be notified whenever I post a reading. Okay, so let's start off with pulling the mutual energy. This is going to tell me a little bit about the energy flow between you and your person. And it's also going to tell me a little bit about what would we consider to be chemistry. Okay, so let's start off by pulling a card here. I'm using the Romance Angels. Make the effort is what we got. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. Okay. So someone is not making an effort here. Okay. I feel like there's one person in this relationship that is putting in all the effort, all the work. Okay. And in relationships for great love, for a love that you read stories about. It's not easy. For great love, you have to make a great effort sometimes. So I'm seeing that there is a lot of chemistry between you, but somebody is really holding back here, okay? And they're not following their heart. They're not following the steps that they are being guided towards, and they are being guided towards this feminine. I also feel like there's something about the energy between you to where I feel like you really awaken each other's inner child. You really have so much fun together. I feel like there's a lot of laughing. I feel like for the feminine, I don't know why, but I'm hearing giggling, <laughs> like just a lot of laughter, a lot of fun between you. And, you know, I think that it's a little too much fun sometimes and not enough effort, but I think that no effort is needed for you guys to have fun together. It's just that someone is really holding back when it comes to the emotions. All right, let's go ahead and get another card here. And I'm seeing that the feminine is dressed in all white and pink. And the masculine is dressed in green and white here. So it, this is symbolizing for the feminine. Feminine, you're very pure of heart. I feel like you have an innocence about you. I also feel like, again, you're very in touch with your inner child. And um, you love to laugh. So I feel like you laugh a lot. Okay. And there's something very distinct about your laugh. Um, I also feel like you're masculine. They really love the way you laugh. So they think it's like really cute. Um, they might have told you that before. Like, I really love the way you laugh. It's so cute. It really draws me in. And the masculine is in green. So their heart is telling them to go for it, to open up all the way. Okay, this, this can go deeper. This can be an amazing, great love, the love of both of your lifetimes. But it is going to take some sort of effort. And I think this masculine... They were kind of known throughout their life as like a class clown. They love to make people laugh. Um, and they're really just, I feel like they feel good when they make other people laugh. And they're really attracted to laughter. Okay, so they love the energy that laughter outputs. And, you know, I think there's something so unique about your laugh feminine and so cute to them. Like... It's like they just can't get enough of it, but they really have a hard time expressing their emotions. They really have a hard time expressing how they're really feeling, okay? So let's get another card here for the mutual energy between you. Spirit, tell me more about this connection. Yeah, look at that. Intimate date. Let's go out, have a drink or two, and have a little fun. What did I tell you guys about fun? 
Yeah, it's this is just I feel like when you're together, you're just off in your own little world. Like and your person is so funny. I feel like it's like you don't even see anyone else and they always have you laughing. They always have you smiling. And that's one of the things you really love about them. Okay. I also feel like you like to go out a lot. You like to um, go out and do things together. Have fun together. Okay. You like to go out, maybe have drinks together. Um I don't know why, but I just heard comedy clubs, you know, um, maybe that's your thing. You like to go to comedy clubs, especially with like how funny this masculine is and how this feminine just loves to laugh. And I just feel like comedy clubs are like right up your alley. And I heard spirit say that. So, um, yeah, this is just such a cute relationship. Let's go ahead and, um, pull one of these to clarify. I forget what this deck is called. You guys. All right, we have Widow. And Sadness, okay. So, Feminine, you may have lost someone in your past, okay? You may have had a relationship in your past and um, you lost them. So maybe they, you know, passed away from this earth or um, maybe you had a divorce, okay? But either way, I feel like there's still some sadness about that. I really feel like you have lost someone feminine. You have lost someone very important in your life. And I think when you met this masculine, you were very sad. You were grieving. You were going through a very hard time, okay? And it was hard for you to smile. It was hard for you to laugh. It was hard for you to allow yourself to have fun. And I think you even felt guilty at times when you did have fun, when you caught yourself smiling. There was guilt there. And I think when you met this masculine, they, there's something about them to where you were able to open up a little, to ease up into um, that laughter, the sadness kind of melted away a little bit. And I also feel like you became very, very spiritual, okay, after this loss that you went through and then meeting this masculine. So I'm seeing you're very spiritual as well. Um, and I think it was this sadness, this loss that really brought you to spirituality. So I feel like since you've been going through this loss, this sadness, um, you have been learning about spirituality. You've been learning about different religions. And I think that it was very, it's been soothing to your heart, to your soul. Okay. I think it was very healing for you as well. But still, I feel like even through that, you still had a hard time having fun. Okay. But when you met this masculine, it's like, Something about them just really broke down all of those barriers and was able to reach through to your soul and to your heart and reach you in a place that you haven't felt in a very long time. So this masculine reached into your soul and touched a part of your soul and awakened it that has not been touched or awakened in a very long time, okay? So this is a beautiful connection. And you know, I'm also seeing that this masculine has also went through a major loss in their past. So you guys might be older, you know, you might have had marriages before and, and lost them to either divorce or, you know, um, even a loss of physical life. And I'm seeing that you both have went through a very similar situation, but I think that this masculine doesn't always talk about it. I also feel like they appreciate comedy so, so much because it helped them through a deep loss, a deep pain, a deep, deep sadness inside of them, and they found refuge in comedy, and, and they kind of felt like they've gained this purpose in life through that. And they felt like their purpose is to make people laugh, okay, to bring a lighter energy to those who are feeling sad, those who are grieving, 
because that's what was done for him. That's what was able to reach him. Okay. So beautiful energy, really. And I just want to say um, to the feminine and the masculine, I'm so, so sorry about your loss and what you've been through. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the masculine's energy towards the feminine. Why are they holding back their emotions? Let's take a look. Okay, we got the star here. It did fall out in reverse. So we have Aquarius here. This masculine might be an Aquarius. So I feel like they just have this natural talent to be like, they're kind of odd. You know, they, I feel like their appearance might be considered a little bit on the goofy side. I, I'm just seeing like a very tall and somewhat slender masculine. Um, Spirit's also showing me glasses. Just take what resonates, okay? But um, yeah, Aquarius energy. So with the star in reverse, I think this masculine um, has really went through like a type of shell shock energy in their past, okay? And they haven't quite grasped the energy that the worst is actually over for them, that they're allowed to be optimistic. And I think that they hide a lot of sadness and a lot of pain behind comedy, behind making people laugh, behind jokes, behind being goofy. You know, um, they hide a lot of pain behind that. And they haven't quite convinced themselves that the worst is over, that they'll be able to move forward. Okay, so let's get another card. For the masculine's energy towards the feminine. We got under pressure. I'm under a lot of pressure. Please be understanding. Okay. So this masculine feels very, very nervous when it comes to matters of the heart. And it's funny because... When you're around this masculine, they're so open, they're so like funny, and they're always joking, and it's like, you wouldn't think that they would really be reserved when it comes to expressing anything, but they really are, and I think that um, they feel like they're under a lot of pressure um, to move forward in their life, right, to get over this loss and this sadness, and, you know, everybody heals at their own pace and their own time and everybody heals in their own way you know so just because someone else tells you it's time doesn't mean that it actually is and I think that this masculine has been very pressured in their life with people around them to move on to move forward very quickly and I think they've really held back how they felt about that I think that they would agree with the person, they would nod their head, but they never really expressed how they truly felt about that. But, um, and they went forward with it. They tried to move on, they tried to move forward, and they had a lot of pain inside. And so instead of healing that pain, releasing that pain, they've been under a lot of pressure to just like kind of forget about it, right? And go on with their life. And so something for them has felt very, very missing in their life because of that. And when they met you, it's like they found that missing piece. Something feels more complete in them, okay? Um, but they just, they're, they're just unsure how to express themselves. And I think they have really tried to disconnect from the sadness, the pain, and the loss inside of them. And they've kind of sectioned it off from a part of themselves. They've kind of fractured it off, um, locked it away inside of themselves, and they've covered it up with jokes, with laughs, with comedy. But honestly, like when they feel like they need to express themselves, their emotions, what's really on their heart, they feel a lot of pressure. Um, so what this masculine isn't showing you is that they've actually been through a lot 
and they're under a lot of pressure now in their life and before. They're afraid of disappointing people. Um, they're actually afraid of people seeing their pain and their sadness and expressing it because they don't want anyone else to feel that. They don't want anyone else to feel sad, okay? So let's get a card for the feminine spirit. Please show me the feminine's energy towards this masculine. This masculine's very popular too. I feel like they have a lot of friends, a lot of people who love them. Okay, let's get a card for the feminine. Manifesting you, okay? I'm seeing some letters here. I'm seeing a Z, like as in, you know, the beginning of the name Zachary or something like zebra, you know, um, that letter. And then I'm seeing an R. I'm seeing a B. I am seeing a J. Okay, so these could be initials, just someone's name. I'm also seeing an N. Two L's. Okay, so, and I'm seeing an O. All right, so... Feminine, you want to be in a relationship with this person, okay? And I think that you have been trying to manifest a connection with this person. You've been trying to manifest a relationship with this person, okay? Because I think that with what you've been through and the loss that you've been through, you thought and you felt that you would never heal from it. You felt that you could never love someone again, but here you are, okay? And this person brings a very healing energy to you. Um, and so I think that you want to manifest a relationship. You're all into this. Your heart is in it. And they've stolen your heart away. And it's like you didn't mean for it to happen, but it did, okay? Let's get another card for your energy towards them. I don't know why, but I'm seeing a white bathing suit, like a white bikini for the feminine. We have friendship, and then I'm also seeing like a turquoise um, chip necklace. We got friendship. Can we be friends and start from there? Okay. So you want to manifest this relationship, but right now there is a very strong, very deep friendship that is manifesting. Okay, um, and I just feel like spiritually, energetically, you two are holding each other. Look at that, really holding each other, supporting each other. All right, so I'm seeing two souls who have been through very, very similar things, who have been through a lot of pain, a lot of loss, find each other and really just fill that missing piece in each other so it's a beautiful beautiful friendship and it's extremely healing okay so let's go ahead and take a look feminine what is your thoughts towards this masculine masculine what is your thoughts towards your feminine this did come out in reverse so we're gonna read it in reverse even though it's upright Okay, so feminine, you got the seven of wands is on your mind, all right? So you're like, I'm not giving up here. Sagittarius energy. I'm not giving up here. Cupid's arrow has struck you, okay? And you're thinking, could this really be love? I think that I'm in love. And you feel like you're ready to fight for this love, Okay, and in order to fight, you have to break down that boundary, that barrier. And look, you're wearing the green here. Green symbolizes the heart chakra. All right, so with the seven of wands, you feel that they are emotionally closed off. You feel that there is something in their past. Every once in a while, I think that you hear it um, in a tone in their voice. Um that something painful has happened to them. So they don't want to reveal it to you, but you pick up on it from time to time from certain words that they do say, um, certain energy and their voice sounds. 
um, resonance frequencies that sound like they're in pain or that they've been through a lot of pain. Um, this masculine definitely does not fall in love easily, okay? And they do have an emotional barrier up, all right? Um, it came out in reverse. So regardless of how strong this barrier is for this masculine, they can't help but fall in love with this feminine. Okay, so Cupid's arrow has struck this masculine too, and it has struck them hard. And you two did not, you didn't expect to meet. You weren't looking for anyone. It's like spirit really just brought you together. That's really what I feel, okay? So let's take a look and, and brought you together at the right time, okay? And let's take a look at um, a clarifier for the feminine's thoughts towards the masculine here. Waiting. So feminine, you feel like, I feel like you have red hair, feminine. You have been waiting on this masculine for so very long. You wonder where they've been forever. You even wish that you may, have, you would have met them sooner is what I'm getting here because they just bring you an element of joy and happiness. And I'm also seeing that this masculine likes to kiss you on the cheek. Okay, so they kiss you on the cheek is what I'm seeing here. And it feels very sweet, very pure. All right, let's get a clarifier for the masculine's thoughts here. They're usually very logical. They have a way of communicating, okay, but they communicate through comedy. Um, that's, that's their gift. I would say they're very gifted in that, and they have a way of communicating. But it's like they have such a hard time expressing their emotions, and I feel like they feel awkward or they feel like it's funny or silly, like, and they feel embarrassed. And I'm just seeing, you know, their face gets very, very red whenever they try to express their emotions. So it's like they get embarrassed, you know, about feeling this way. Let's get another card here for the masculine's thoughts towards the feminine. Love story. Oh my gosh. This is where two love stories can join, okay, and make one really beautiful, really unique love story. That is what I'm seeing from you two. And you know, a true love story, it never ends. Let's start a new chapter. This is a new chapter in both of your life. This is a new chapter in love, okay, and it's beautiful and it's unfolding. All right. And this masculine knows it's unfolding. They feel it. It's just, they feel so funny expressing, you know, their heart. I feel like this is someone who would like make fun of someone or joke about someone being mushy, things like that. So they feel quite um, awkward expressing their emotions. Okay. So let's take a look at the emotions that the feminine has towards this masculine. How are you feeling, feminine, towards your masculine? Okay, we got here the hermit. And how is the masculine feeling towards the feminine? So feminine, I feel like you are waiting for this love story to unfold and so is your masculine and it is very beautiful and for your emotions feminine we got the hermit virgo energy okay so this is about soul searching again you feel like they have really really reached into your soul and touched a part of you and and really lit up a part of your heart that you haven't felt in a very long time. And maybe you felt like you were never going to feel that again, that you were never going to feel that part of your heart light up or um, that part of your 
soul be touched by anyone but this person has come into your life and they have they have lit your heart up like a lantern and um it's showing you the truth okay it's showing you a whole nother side of yourself that i feel like you didn't even know was there okay um so it is very very curious energy as well let's get another card here for your emotions and you know with the hermit you just want to get to know them i feel like there is this need this want and this urge being pulled towards them to where you want to get to know them you want to know everything about them because you are that curious you think they are that interesting and there's literally nothing that they can tell you that would make you turn away from them okay so you just want to know who they are you want to know the good the bad you want to know what they're hiding you want to know their sadness and what makes them happy you want to show them that you accept all of it so let's get a card here you know this masculine i feel like pulls back and it's like you don't hear from them for like certain amounts of time right and i feel like when they do that they are really trapped in their head they are really thinking about you being very logical and trying to put this into logic what's going on between you they feel like things are unfolding very very rapidly they didn't expect to ever fall for anyone this quickly but they are okay so i think they pull back they disappear sometimes but then they always reappear they never really spend that long away from you we have manifesting okay so again feminine you have been trying to manifest a relationship because you feel like this relationship is loving it's meaningful um, and this is what you want. And I think that you might be learning about spiritual work, energy work, okay, trying to help to, um, and using the law of attraction, really, to help manifest this, keeping your thoughts positive, especially in regards to this masculine, so that you can attract a very positive outcome between you, all right? Um, you might also be looking into candle work, energy work is what I'm seeing here. All right, I think that meeting this masculine open your eyes to a different side of spirituality. So while before I feel like you went through this loss, right? You were you went through this grief and this sadness, it, it opened your eyes to spirituality and really to a kind of religious side of spirituality. And when you met this masculine, it opened your eyes to a whole nother side, okay? So for the masculine here, we have lessons, okay? So they are actually learning a divine lesson right now. And this divine lesson, and look, we have books. This masculine actually loves to read. Um, that's something a lot of people might not know. And they might be very surprised when they find out that this masculine is a reader. They love to read books, okay? Um, and a lot of people might not know that. Because they are so like always joking, they're not really serious, you know, they don't express that, but they do. Um, and they're learning a lot right now, okay? They're trying to make sense of what's going on in their life. They're trying to make sense of you, of this feeling they have towards you, of why you walked into their life when you did, of what they went through in the past, okay? And um, the lesson that they're learning here, is that everything that they have been through is truly their own path. It is truly unique. But sometimes our path conjoins with another path. Sometimes we meet someone else who's traveled the same road that we have traveled. They know how we feel. And I think that that kind of shocks the masculine. They see that in you. They feel that in you. But for the longest time, they've concealed so much inside of them. They've covered it up with comedy, laughter. They've told themselves, they've convinced themselves 
that no one will ever understand how they feel, what they've been through. And so they hide it. They cover it up. And here you are, a contradiction of what they've told themselves, what they've made themselves believe. And here they are having to relearn this lesson. So let's get another card for their emotions towards you, feminine. Feminine, I feel like they've disappeared again here is what I'm getting. Okay, the conversation got too heavy. And if you want to know why they just pulled back, disappeared, no reason, um, it's because they felt pressured. They felt pressured to reveal something to you or to speak about something about their emotions towards you. Okay, and um, it felt like it was too much. It was too much to handle for them in the moment. They pulled back. They have to think about it. They don't even know how to put this feeling into words towards you. So they're in contemplation mode. And I think you're just waiting for their return because you know they will return. They always do. But you know, it's never easy when they do this. And you definitely have red hair, feminine. Let's get another card here for the emotions the masculine feels towards their feminine. Look at that. But feminine, you know, those emotions they have are top, top secret. They are classified. Okay. And um, they're like, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready to speak about it. Right? That's what they're saying. So when you bring up the topic of emotions, they feel pressured. Their heart starts beating. They start sweating and they just disappear. But they do have emotions for you. Okay? They have true, deep emotions for you. They're just not ready to reveal them. So they keep them under wraps, top secret. No one's getting in. But they deeply admire you. They deeply admire you. So what is the feminine's intentions? We got death here. Scorpio energy. What is the masculine's intentions? We got forbidden. Okay, so we got death for the feminine energy. Your intentions, okay. This is a transition. This is a change. You're like, why are you dreading this so much, right? Like, why? Why is it so hard for you to just open up to me, okay? So you want this transition. You want to change. That's what death is, an ending to this current back and forth, push and pull energy, and a new beginning, a new beginning where you are more enlightened about how they feel about your relationship. I think that you might have also been learning a lot about death and from the spiritual side um, over the past, I would say, year or, or more. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. And you've learned a lot. And you've learned a lot about your own soul. And I think that you did this in order to feel more comfortable with your losses. A lot of people are very uncomfortable with that idea. But when you go through such a loss, it's important to learn about it. Okay. Um, and I think that's what you've been doing. So you understand it more from a spiritual sense. And I think in that, you've also learned a lot about yourself and you've learned a lot about what is important in this life and on this earth. Okay, so there's been a lot of soul growth. Let's get another card here for your intentions towards them. Okay, we got love, hate, okay? 
I'm angry, but I still love you. I just hate what you do. So when this masculine doesn't reply to you, when they just run off and, and disappear for periods of time with no explanations, honestly, you are angry over it. You feel like this is not what a friend does. You feel like this behavior really needs to stop because it's really not easy for you. Okay, and you want to know what is going on that they keep doing this with the hermit here. All right, so you're like, listen, I am really angry every time you do this. It really needs to stop. We need to talk about this. Okay, that's what friends do. That's what you do when you care about someone. You talk about it. Okay, so you're angry, but you still love them. Okay, honestly, you just want to know what's up, what's going on. Let me know. Okay, let, maybe I can help. That's how you feel. For the masculine energy, we got forbidden here. Okay, differences. Family, friends don't approve. They're worried about what everybody else will think, not because of you, feminine, because of them. Because of the face they've shown to the world. Okay, because... Their family, their friends have really pushed them to be like this happy-go-lucky person, right? And I think that really deep inside, there's much, much more to them than that, okay? And they feel like their friends and their family might not approve of them for jumping into a relationship this quickly after the loss they've been through. Even, I feel like it may have been like 17 months for this masculine or, um, maybe longer, okay, or maybe this situation has been going on for 17 months, but um, I am getting that, so they're like, should it be off limits, should, you know, and they're like expressing my heart, expressing my feelings, that's forbidden, that is forbidden, I'm not ready to do that, okay, no one is going to approve of that, I'm going to sound really silly, okay, I don't even know what to say, so they're like freaking out. Their heart starts beating really quickly. I just dropped the card. Let me see what it is. Obsession. Feminine, they're obsessed with this. Excuse my voice, okay? We have an ice storm where I live in... Oh my gosh, like I even got into a wreck this morning. It was crazy, but you know, my car is okay. Me and my masculine are okay. And we just like kind of slid off the road and hit a guardrail, but we were going really slow. But um, pardon my voice. I was pushing my car out of a ditch this morning. So, <laughs> but it's okay, like I said. So we have obsession. They're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with this, okay? They're obsessed with you, feminine, and all of your memories and your laugh and your eyes and your relationship. And they're like, this is almost killing me because I've literally forbid myself for expressing my heart to them and it kills me. They're like, feminine, I wish, I wish you knew how I really felt. I wish that I could just, you know, do some magic and you'll automatically just feel every word that I feel and you'll automatically just know what I'm feeling towards you and I don't have to express it, right? So they're like, I know that no one's going to approve of me jumping into a relationship this quickly, but you know, I'm obsessed with it. I really want to be with you, but they're also obsessed of hiding their feelings. This is the type of person that like somebody would do Let's say somebody like steals from them or lies about them or does something messed up to them. They like won't even say anything about it most of the time because it's it's like they just they get over things so quickly when it comes to things like that. And to them, it's just it's not a big deal in the scheme of things. That's what I'm getting. And that's not good. Right. But that's what I'm getting here. That's how much they don't express themselves. Okay, so actions, feminine, what actions are you going to take towards your masculine? Ace of Pentacles, look at that. All right, so you are offering them something. 
That is um, very beautiful. You are offering them a steady union. You are offering them a gift of a new great love. And you have been awaiting for them to accept this offer. Okay. You've offered it to them. They know what it is. And it's there for them to take. You are only offering something stable. You are only offering something steady. You are only offering a new chapter to the love story. So the offer stands. It's up to them to take it. So let's get another card here. And I think that you hate that they haven't taken it yet. And sometimes you wonder if you should just walk away because they're taking so long and they disappear. So it gives you mixed signals and you're like, well, maybe they really don't want this. Maybe I should just walk away. But then they come back and they act like they want it, right? So you're like, something's got to change. Something's got to give. There has to be a revealing, a revelation, right? A revealing, all right? That's what you want. You're like, reveal yourself, masculine. Reveal what's on your heart. Reveal what's on your mind. Reveal the truth. That's what you want. Do you love me? Do you hate me? Do you not want to be with me? Are we just friends? Is that really how you feel? This is what you want to talk about. And every time you bring it up, they're gone. So what is the actions they're going to take? This masculine will discuss with you when they are ready. Okay. We have justice here. There is a soul contract between you. Okay. This contract has to do with, again, your, your past being very similar. All right. Um, definitely twin flame energy with 11 here. Balance. You're meant to bring balance back into each other's life. You really are. And um, you met at this time and you've both been through the same hurt, the same pain, the same sadness. And your soul contract was to meet after that. After you went through what you've been through, both of you, your soul contract was to walk into each other's life, to heal each other, okay? To bring love to each other, to bring happiness, to bring joy. And I think, honestly, you do feel very complete with each other. So let's get another card here for the actions. This masculine is going to come forward. They are going to reveal how they feel. They are going to tell you the truth. Okay. They are going to allow their heart to be divinely guided towards you because this relationship is and has always been divinely guided. It has always been protected. And I think that with the amount of sadness and loss that you both have been through, the fact that you can feel this laughter and this level of joy that really touches your heart in places that you haven't felt in a very long time really raises the vibration of the entire earth, the entire universe. It's absolutely beautiful, okay? And it is divinely guided, and you are destined to meet when you did, okay? And there will be, I feel, a legal commitment between you, all right? That's in the future. But for now, this masculine is being guided to tell you how they feel. We got healing at the bottom of the deck here, okay? What you both are going through, I feel like this is very valid. I'm healing those parts of me that I avoided for so very long. And sometimes that's painful. Healing can be painful, right? Think of a wound that you have and you've ignored it for a very long time. So the wound gets infected, right? Maybe even the infection starts spreading, right? Like, and it's itchy and it gets even more sore and then it hurts even more to heal it. And it takes an even longer process to heal that wound because you ignored it for so long and that's what I'm seeing here for this masculine okay so this isn't easy for them but this is a healing process so whether you realize it or not you are both healing through this 
You might feel angry. You might feel upset at times. But these are all feelings that are connected to healing. Okay? It's connected to healing and purging and expressing yourself. So let's see what spirit wants to tell you about your connection. Look at that, this beautiful healing angel. So know that it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone, especially for this masculine. So while you might feel angry um, or upset that they've pulled back, it's important for them to be alone right now, okay? Because they're learning, they're healing, okay? Um, from the pain that they've been carrying around. So instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Now is the time to heal those parts of yourself that you really have avoided for so very long. Okay? Let's get one more from Spirit. Appreciate this moment. So I know it feels like there's not a lot to appreciate in this moment when, when you know, you guys aren't really talking, but every situation is an opportunity to grow and to find love deep within your heart. So honestly, appreciate and treasure this moment because this is the moment that healing takes place and this is the moment that they find that love in their heart for you and, and find it and hold it and give it to you in the form of expressing their heart, okay? So appreciate this time, even if it feels like there's not much to appreciate. You never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You never know if you even have tomorrow. So appreciate the love you have now and in this moment, okay? And we're going to close up this reading by getting some messages. I'm going to get two messages from the Divine Feminine to the Masculine. And then I'm going to get two messages from the Divine Masculine to the Feminine. Okay, so Feminine, what would you like to say from your heart to this Masculine? So what the feminine wants to tell this masculine is I saved your text and messages. Okay, when you leave, I really miss your voice. I really miss communicating with you. All right, I reread your messages and your text all the time because they make me smile and they make me feel good. All right, and this feminine wants this masculine to know they feel they can really be their self with this masculine. And that is very healing to this feminine, okay? So what does the masculine want to say to their feminine? Listen, feminine, listen. I do love you, okay? I know that you want me to just come out and say those words and just blurt them out, but I want to say it in a different way. I want to say it in my own way, okay? But please know that, yes, I do love you. I really love you. That's what they're saying here. Do not doubt it. Do not question it, okay? And then we have, I'm going to make things right. I'm going to show you that I love you. I'm going to prove that I love you, but I have to do it in my own way, okay? So that's the reading that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the reading or if it resonated with you, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. And don't forget to like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. All of these readings are pretty close to personal readings, of course. Personal readings are much more detailed, but you never know when your reading is going to be up next. So hit the notification bell if you're not um, notified, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.